Welcome back everybody to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan. Welcome back to exploring the world of Azeroth and World of Warcraft. Today's adventure leads us to the Shadowfane Keep dungeon in Silverpine Forest. Um, we are going to be getting out of bounds out of the map and we're going to be exploring the surrounding areas, which is Silverpine Forest, the Runes of Gilneas, and just some more out of bounds areas that uh, we're going to take a look at. Now, to order to perform this glitch, uh, we're going to be taking uh, Hidden Azeroth's old trick. And I'm assuming that uh, he wasn't the only one to do this first. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're going to be doing this, performing this, and um, we're going to get out of bounds. So what you need to do is come over to this ledge when you first walk outside. Um, and there's a little area right here where you can jump into. And literally, you just clip out of bounds. There you go. And we're out. It's that simple. Anyone can really do it. Now, what we're going to be doing um, is we're going to head out this way. And I've actually never done this or been out here before. So, but I'm assuming. Oh. Okay. We're stuck. That's not good. Oh, no. Alright, didn't mean to do that. So we're going to have to reform the glitch. <laughs> okay. So let's go head out back this way. Uh, shoot. Okay, did not expect that to happen. So let's go back out this way again. Trial and error, my friends. Uh, of course, not going to work now, is it? There we go. All right. But be careful walking over that way because you will get stuck. Um, so we're going to try another way out. We're going to go out this way. There we go. We're going to see if we can make our way out the mountains here. Uh, I'm not sure what would be the best way, but I guess we can go start out this way. All right. Let's go check out the uh, runes. Oh! Okay, so apparently I need to go another way because I keep... Clipping into bounds <laughs> for whatever reason. I need to get my mount back. All right, let's go back in and try again. And uh, <laughs> see if we can do this properly. So let's go back up here. And we're going to go make our way out of bounds again. As you can tell, I've never done this glitch before, so this is uh, all new for me. There we go. So let's go out this way and see if we can maybe scale over the mountains. I'm not sure what would be the best part yet. But we got to be careful getting too close to the edge here. So maybe what we can do is work our way out this way. There we go. And come out this way, I guess. If we're doing this right. Hopefully. There we go. And it looks like we're getting out, so that's good. We're not hitting the boundary. Oh, we're falling. Alright, so let's take a look out this way. Uh, I'm going to mount up so we can go a little quicker here because we be 100% instead of just walking. And let's go take a look up over at the hills. We're coming out north of the Silverpine Forest. 
You can see that a lot of the uh, remaining camp area is still intact, which is really nice. Now, a lot of this stuff, if you remember, isn't in the uh, outer boundary of the uh, Gilneas glitch that we did a while back. Um, but what's interesting here is that out here, you can still see remnants of the vanilla silver pine forest, which is pretty interesting to me that they mix the... They mix... Uh, you know, retail with vanilla. So I, th I don't know, I think that's kind of cool. Let's go take a look at this uh, cool looking haunted house over here. Now this definitely looks like an undead settlement. You got a graveyard over here with the bats that are hanging upside down for the flight paths. It's cool being an Alliance character and flying be finally being able to explore things that you normally wouldn't. Oh, we got a hole in the ground. I think normally there's a crypt here, if I'm not mistaken. So we definitely don't want to fall down there, but that's interesting to see. I wonder if the music changes when you go in the house. Nope, still the same, okay. But it looks like this uh, haunted house over here is still interesting to explore. I keep calling it a haunted house, but I don't know exactly what it is. Huh, you can even sit in the chair. It's so interesting to me that they have this uh, non-patched version of Shadowfan Keep that you think Blizzard would just take care of that real quick, but I'm glad they didn't because it allows us to go explore. So let's go deeper into Silver Pine Forest and let's go take a look and see what's around. I do see an encampment over here. Oh, that's really cool. So they do keep a lot of the uh, ships in the surrounding area. I think they have to keep the imagery up more because of the smoke and mirror effect that they want to pull off. Now, I do take my comments back earlier. I don't think this is actually a vanilla version of the game, obviously, but it looks like there's still a lot of retail stuff out in the distance here that's currently in the game itself right now. And I think you can actually get out to these ships as well. If I can get up to them, maybe not. That's okay. I don't think there's going to be too much up there anyways. Doesn't look like a door is open in the back, so I don't think you can go to the lower level. Let's go take a look back this way, towards the Alteric Valley and Western Plaguelands. Well, like I said before, they do keep a lot of the retail stuff out here. You can see some part of the wall. And it looks like there's a house over here in the distance. And we do want to be careful because a lot of times these edge of these maps, you can actually get uh, stuck and you'll clip on the map. And uh, you'll have to get an unstuck ticket going for your character. So be careful doing that. <laughs> I've done that a few times in my other Out of Bounds videos, and it wasn't fun. One Out of Bounds video actually scared the heck out of me. I was exploring the dead mines. Um, and I got clipped out and disconnected. And so I actually had to open up a ticket, and they, Blizzard, you know, did send me back to the graveyard, so that was good. They didn't say anything, so I think it's just like an automated system. But you can only do the, uh, you can only do the system every, uh, four hours. But here, it looks like another edge of the world here, with the gray, out-of-bounds stuff. We're not gonna go down there, because it's just void.
I'm curious to see if the dollar on crater is still here um, from retail wow to see what's going on back here from the looks of it I don't know well you can't really tell because that's glitching out of bounds right so let's go out this way and I'm curious to see if they keep some of the hills Brad foothills as well with Alteric Valley usually they do with these type of maps but we'll see Here we go, now we're getting somewhere. We don't get stuck first. There we go. Most of the town is still here from what I can see. They do keep a lot of the outside of Shadow Vane Keep, which is cool. Man, it looks like this full town area is still accessible. Yep, everything's still in here, and you can actually even sit on the chairs. Looks like a town hall meeting going on. <laughs> Alright, let's go take a look out this way. It's such an eerie feeling exploring these places out in the distance here. And, uh, you know, it's so quiet and there's nobody actually out here. It does look like the Murloc camp is still intact out here. All the huts. I'm assuming there's going to be swimming fish, but there's going to be no water. That's going to be interesting. Yep, there they are. Now, from the looks of it, it doesn't look like they have that part of the map over here on the left. Sadly, there is no dollar on crater. But they do have one tree from the Hillsbrad foothills right here. I guess they don't keep that part. So this is where it ends right here. But we do have a part two here because we do need to go see the runes of Gilnea. So let's start making our way out that way. I think we're going to have to go around this way, because the other way it looks like it's walled off. I do want to go up this path, though. Go see if any of the Hillsborough foothills is still here. But from the look of it, it didn't look like it, but maybe some of the beginning of it. Okay, so it looks like just like the entrance of the Hillsbrad Foothills is here. We can actually go in there. But it looks like the edge of the world is over here, so I don't think there's going to be too much to see. Ooh, definitely don't want to fall. Ah, couldn't do it. That may be at my work, but it might be better if I get up here first. It'd be cool to see some of these mountains. Where are we at with fell charges? There we go.
No, of course. Leads to a dead end. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. Oh, there we go. And we got up. And here we can actually see a good shot of the wall here. This is an interesting untextured part of the wall. Now I'm curious to see if we can actually get on top of the wall. It looks like they do keep a lot of it. Let's go find out. They do. All right. So we can. This is really cool. So it looks like it's very untextured out here in the distance. Oh, none of the water's there. That is interesting, but you can see the water fills are still here. Yeah, I was assuming this none of this is actually real water. You just walk on it. Okay. <clears throat> it is cool that you can get on top of the wall, though. Let's go check out more of Gilneas, because as we can see, the shots down there, there's nothing down there other than the fish. But I wonder how much of Gilneas they actually keep out here. Doesn't look like too much, though. Oh, maybe I spoke too soon. Alright, let's go fly down here. And let's go take a look. It's only proper that we do the Gilnean Prowler, the mount, because we're in Gilneas. But it looks like they didn't keep the whole city. Just parts of it. The lighthouse is here, the one where you perform the glitch out of bounds. What's interesting is I think this is actually the untextured version of Guild Dance that they use in the Classic WoW. Uh, the part that you actually couldn't get to before Guild Dance was actually there. But it looks like a lot of this stuff is still accessible. You have the Alliance ship out here. And I don't know how far this goes out, but let's go take a look. So some of the runes are here. Usually Grey Main Manor is right over here. Now that's an interesting texture I've never seen before. Looks like stereo st styrofoam from a distance. <laughs> Alright everyone, well, I think that's going to end the video because there's not too much out here to see. If you enjoyed this video, please uh, like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.